you crafty here with starting with our first layout for June and my killing kits or killing my mini kits that I have that was a sketch from the rediscover your stash Facebook group uh, it is spending freeze month so luckily for me that is what I'm doing anyway is using up my stash so awesome um, just working with that lovely sketch I love a good grid layout because you can kind of dress them up change whatever you want about them but it's something simple um, so it's like a good base to start with. I love grids. And yeah, you can change a ton of different things about them. I like how this one was like a small grid in the center with a wide kind of border. And I'm using this beautiful um, 12 by 12 paper that I gutted um, because I was limited with this kit with how many 12 by 12 papers I have. So this is an old, old We Are Memory Keepers um, Indian Summer one of my favorites. I'm kind of sad that I didn't completely kill it this month with this layout because I didn't need as many patterned papers. Um, but I did use a lot of it. I'm kind of sad because it's so pretty. I love mustard yellow. I love different teals. I love that there's a mixture of browns and grays and I'm not really good about doing that myself. So I love that it kind of all coordinated. Oh, I just love this collection. Um, I really wish I could find it probably. I don't even know how old it is. I can't even find a year on any of the papers I have and I don't think I have any branding strips left, but, um, so I, I'm trying to be good about using pattern paper more as backgrounds because cardstock is just easy. It's an easy go-to and I'm trying to challenge myself a little bit more. But this month with a lot of my kits, since they're all partial, old partial kits from the scrap room that I have maybe previously used in the past years and I'm just trying to use them up, um, a lot of them I end up having to use cardstock because I don't have a lot of just loose pattern paper in my stash. I have some but not a lot. And so it's going to, it's hard to find stuff that coordinates with the kits I have. That's not a cardstock. So I'm doing my best. I'm trying to be good and use pattern paper more. But since this also with all these partial kits, yeah, I don't have a lot of 12 by 12s. So, but this one had a 12 by 12 and because that watercolor type treatment on that paper was so pretty, I, that had to be my background. And then I had to, I gutted it because I needed the other, the B side, um, for one of the patterns for the grid. And then I was really, well, because I got it, I don't have anything to support the grid then of these four pages coming together, papers coming together because there's nothing in the background. So I decided to like mat the grid on the cardstock that came with the kit, which worked out really, really well. And, um, I don't know if you've noticed, well, watch first here. I go crazy with my tape gun and I'm not sure why I did that because I, went way wider than what I needed to and now I've got tape everywhere so you're gonna watch me fuss with that for a little bit but um I know so the title of my YouTube channel is uh if it's not crooked I didn't probably didn't make it very true you saw a t square or t um ruler out doesn't matter still gonna be crooked I try my hardest to make things straight I do this with sewing too I can't sew or do anything in a straight line no matter how hard I try it would take me hours and I don't I don't know if it's just I don't have the patience or it's just you know what it's me this is how I do things I don't care I do care but I don't care like it <laughs> it doesn't matter so despite my efforts of using the ruler and using and doing math and like figure which I was very good at math in college and high school I was very good at I loved math, but I can't make things straight. I don't know if it's my eyes or what it is. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I got it on there. That's all that matters. And I'm going to do some hand stitching because I thought that would be fun. In this kit came um, with some um, twine. And I happened to have a bigger roll of the exact same color twine in my stash. And so I, I was like, perfect. So I'm doing all the holes right now. Um... Yeah, got that grid down. There's some beautiful embossed stickers, cardstock stickers that came in this kit that I'm going to basically use for embellishments. Uh, I kind of struggled with finding a right needle. So luckily I kind of edited that out so you don't have to watch me do that. Um, and then in the sketch there was a, a circle element kind of where the title was. Um, but I had this beautiful, I love a good frame and... Um, 
I love hand stitching and any kind of, actually machine, machine stitching too. Um, anyway, I digress. I keep jumping, but anyway, <laughs> um, so I decided I would add some of the hand stitching around that frame as well. And that'll be part of where my title sits. So puncturing holes in that as well. So yes, I can't sew straight. I can't do anything straight. If it's not crooked, I didn't make, if it's not crooked, I didn't make it. Cause if it's perfectly straight, there's no way I did it because it, no matter how hard I try. Anywho, back to where we were. So yes, digging, trying to find a needle because when you do, if you do hand stitching with the full, all the threads in this twine, it's thick. It is so thick. And I am someone, I am kind of anal retentive in the fact that if I'm going to thread the needle, I am not going to run out of thread in the middle of doing a stitching. I'm not re-threading that needle. Mm -mm. So I also edited me doing a lot of the hand stitching out because there was a lot of it I put on that needle. So I did not run out. And I actually, it was like the perfect amount I was able to get around my grid. And then I was actually able to do the frame and just have maybe an inch and a half or an inch or two, maybe max left total after I threaded. So I guesstimated right with that. Um, but yeah, I love the hand stitching element and I love that I used the thread, the twine instead because it's thicker than just like regular stitching. Um, so I love that that's another texture on my layout. And so what's lovely about this grid is I liked it that it was more asymmetrical in the sketch. Um, when I was making it though, I didn't make it as asymmetrical as I'd liked, but because I'm putting this basically chevron border strip thing down, I can kind of skew it to the right so it doesn't look as square, even though my my squares are all almost almost the same width. They're very close, very close to being the same width, but I can skew it to the right a little bit to make it look like the ones on the right-hand side are skinnier than the ones on the left-hand side, even though they're not that much skinnier. It was like eighths of an inch, not even. So yeah, beautiful hand stitching, loved it, took a lot of time. It took a lot of time. Um, what I love about my where my craft area is, is that it is in the room with my son. And you saw him make a little cameo there a, little, a while ago. He was setting his lunch, showing me he was done, but it's his playroom and it's my craft corner in the other side. And so a lot of times, and he is like his dad and his mom, we all like our alone time. We all like our just self time, like my scrap craft crafting, little crafting, <laughs> scrapbooking, sewing, all that stuff is kind of my, my me time. He knows that he likes it when I'm doing that because then he plays and then it's fun. We have conversations, we hang out, but yet we're not in each other's space. Cause he sometimes likes to play by himself. Like he will not, sometimes he doesn't want me to play with him cause I do it wrong. I found this lovely, um, wood. I have to mention this quick. I found this lovely wood um, hope and I just didn't like the color of it so um, I went and I put um, some tattered angels mist on it and almost gave it just like a stained look I just wanted a little bit darker and that's a lo another lovely texture um, but yep putting some glue dots on to get that down added some glue to all those um, embossed stickers because they're so old they just didn't want to stick um, but yeah this layout it's about my son cuddling random day in the summer and it actually the um, journaling says my hope is that no matter how big you get, you know when you are sad, mad, happy, or whatever, I will be here to listen, to love, and to help. I love you. And I really hope he always knows he can snuggle. He will snuggle in his own time. I love it. We get our times together that we butt heads because we're a lot of like, um, even him being a five-year-old, but we also have so much in common and he does rely on me and I love him to death, obviously. He's my kiddo, so... Yeah, I love the way this layout turned out. Love the sketch. Love the collection. Thanks for watching. Tune in for more. Bye.